is we welcome a good friend of ours, Chad Taylor's in from Bam Bomb Show because we need to figure I, out. I saw the scariest thing this morning, Lou, when I was out there before this segment. Uh oh. Chad Taylor's legs. Oh, how about that? Just Are they whiter than yours? <laughs> <laughs> or mine, I should say. They're rough. As RG would say, does it look like he's writing an emu? And so it's <laughs> anyway, we're going to find out where all the cool music is. You know, we, we kid because we love. That's sure. I, it, it's, a, it's shorts <laughs> weather now. Oh, it, it is, is shorts so. weather. No kidding. We were Especially sporting the shorts yesterday at the zoo Ooh, room. Yeah. Had to, and had Mark to. Vukovic had some on, too. Yeah. The head honcho yeah. of the zoo. You guys can't tell, but... Lou's wearing boxers, and that's it right yeah. now. So. Well, usually we don't even wear I can pants, jump up so and we're down, doing pretty so. good. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, guys? Not bad. Good. Not bad. Uh, good. Uh, so we got some, some decent stuff to talk about. First of all, we mentioned in last week that Bonnie Finken was entered in the contest for the uh, uh, Bank of the West Celebrates uh, the America. West. America. America, yeah. Uh, show over in Omaha. America. Big, big concert they have, and she won. Yay! Yay! So. To you, great day viewers. Yeah. Exactly. No, it, it was it was a great turnout, and I know that like three of the five bands that were finalists were all from LA, so they had a much larger you know fan potential base. fan base to draw from. So Iowa really turned out in That's force awesome. and kind of and, and brought our own in. So she's going to open for Eddie Money and Joan Jett That's June twenty sixth or yeah June twenty sixth. Wow. So, so basically next weekend. Ba mm -hmm. Next weekend, yeah, exactly. Uh, wow. So very excited for Bonnie, and it's it's a great opportunity it, that usually draws about ten thousand fans. So it's it's a huge huge crowd and a great chance to kind of get a really good Iowa sound in front of people who may have never heard it before. Right. So very excited. Congratulations, uh, Bonnie. Um, we mentioned also last week that the Ting Tings show had been yeah, moved from right. Nightfall on the River had been moved to that, again this next week. Uh, and I wasn't sure about tickets for, you know, that, you, that you had bought, if you had to re refund them and buy new ones or not. Those will be honored at Woolies. So if you, if you have tickets to Nightfall, just rock up to Woolies and there you go. If you can't make it to the show, refunds are being given wherever you bought your tickets from. Now, is it the same online. organizer you said for both events? That's it is. the reason yep. why? Okay. Yep, same okay. organizer. Uh, speaking of Nightfall on the River, Los Lonely Boys were supposed to play yesterday. Right. Uh, and they wound, up being, they wound up canceling that show because of uh, some kind of internal... Some issues with, with inside the band. The oh. press release was a little vague. Um, oh, so they didn't. So they did it, not it got, play, so it play. got moved yeah. from Simon Estes to Brenton Skating Plaza because right. of some flooding. But it also it didn't even happen. Exactly. Well, no, it, it did happen. The oh. opening act played a reduced set, so people who bought tickets got refunds for got partial refunds. Okay. Um, Re I so, never heard of that. Yeah. So the opening act played a, played a reduced a reduced price set, but it was moved in fact to, to Brenton Skating Plaza because of the uh, the flooding at Simon Estes. Uh, depending on how the river happens to rock out for the next couple of weeks, I, I suspect that next. Next week's show with Humphreys McGee, McGee will be there as well, unless the river goes way down. Yeah. Did they, maybe so. did they get too lonely, the Lonely Boys? Mm -hmm. I felt really. That's, I hadn't heard that they did. I didn't either. Because I saw people it, there it was, being yeah. like, "Yay!" It was it was a, a very last wow. second sort of a thing. Yeah. Wow. So. Oops. Yeah. Right. I don't know. But uh, so if if you have tickets to next week's, pay attention to. Well, Location. I suppose you can just go look at the river. I guess and then see <laughs> yeah, yourself. Go look, look at the river. It. But, if you, yeah, there. The river. but if you're lazy, pay attention to nightfalldm.com because it's so far to walk from where it was supposed to be to where it's going to be. Exactly. Happening. Exactly. Yeah. So and and they'll keep updated as far as where the show is going to be, but most. Most likely, I'm gonna I'm gonna say next week's show will be at, at Brenton as well. But next time Simon Estes is on, we'll talk to him about moving the stage to higher ground, or or, or just raising it up raising a little bit. Up, yeah. Yeah. yeah, see what he can do about Hydraulics. that. Hydraulics, yeah. exactly. You go. Um, so as I'm sure most folks out there listening know, or anyone who's a fan of the band knows, Mumford and Sons are playing this Gentleman of the Road tour, yes. and one of their stops is Waverly, Iowa. Tickets for that are two hundred dollars. Which is a little Whoa. nuts. Yeah. Whoa! But if you can't happen to make it, they're playing a, a, a reduced price $5 show at the downtown stage uh, on, uh, let's see, that would be uh, this, yeah, Thursday night. Uh, $200 or $5? Five. Five. No, it's not a full set. It's not a full set. And it's located where? It's at the downtown stage. Um, so it's it's okay. you actually have to you have to it's going to be kind of in the middle of, of, of Waverly Iowa in the, in, the, in the middle of the set there, um, and it's first come first serve. So you've got to mm. kind of get there. The, the set starts at 5 p.m. So I, my guess is you want to be there probably closer to three or, right. or around there to kind of get in line in for the this morning thing. to get yeah. a good get, get a good place. You right. should already be there right now. Yeah. But the interesting <laughs> thing about it is that Mumford and Sons is doing Waiting. what they can. 
the, the bands doing what they can to kind of take the focus off them and kind of highlight the other bands that are mm -hmm. playing. So they're actually playing a mid a mid lineup set for that. They're not headlining that show. They'll actually play, I think, third in the middle of five bands. Uh, and after them, then will be two local or two Iowa bands, Dylan Sires and Neighbors, and then Des Moines Maytags. Okay, okay. are all going to actually wind up headlining that set for wow. five dollars with Mumford and Sons kind of playing an opening role. So that's kind of fun. Again, first come, first serve. So if you're interested in getting up there, I'd say rock up early and see what you can get. Uh, but five bucks to ha you know, check out that, that I would love to a lot of fun. Friends. Yeah. And, and really, all people want nowadays is a selfie with the band, so they go get their. <laughs> well worth I five bucks. I want to hear right? them. I don't care about getting a photo. I want to hear them, even though I hear their banjo's not even in their new album. No banjo. Nice. No, no banjo. No sense. No banjo. No sense. Uh, and then two quick shows to talk about this week. We've got uh, C.W. Smith, who's a local uh, yeah. acoustic we singer. We like C.W. We know him, yep. we know him yeah. He's got a, he's got a uh, CD release show happening at Inspired Grounds Cafe Saturday, 6 p.m. Uh, free to get in. Uh, I imagine the CD will sell for between 10 and 15 bucks. Bring some cash. He's a really, really fun uh, you know, sound to listen to. And then also Dan Tedesco, who uh, he's a local guy. He's from Chicago. He's lived here for a while now. He spent most of the last, I think, month and change on the road. The guy tours fairly relentlessly. But he's back in town now, and he's got a show happening also Saturday at 9 p.m. over at Gas Lamp. Uh, Ten bucks to check him out. If you haven't seen his show, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't seen his show, we suggest watching this show next hour. Because Dan, that's right, he will, 8.30, right, is he going to be here. So check out Dan here, and then get down and check him out live. Mm -hmm. uh, really fun guy, really good mm -hmm. stuff. So I couldn't get child care. Did you go last Friday to the gas lamp? Did you see uh, the reverend and the reverend person? No, I got so busy. Oh, and darn it. I've seen them, I've seen, I've seen Reverend three times now when he's been through town, Reverend Peyton, and it's, it's always a good time, and I, was, I really wanted to see it, but... You know, it's a busy time of year. Sometimes there's life gets in the way. Yeah, you know how a, it is. There's Jason. a lot of so. things going on, but it's nice to hear the things we can support here locally as well. That's perfect. Now, if people want to get more information on concerts and music in general, what do you suggest they do? Bandbombshell.com. There's new stuff every day. You can also check me out every week in City View. Okay, what's your topic this week in City View? I don't know. You don't know. Uh, no, I, <laughs> uh, I interviewed uh, Hugh Cornwell, who was the uh, former frontman for the Stranglers. Yeah, uh, he's playing a gig uh, Sunday at uh, Vaudeville Muse. So I interviewed him, uh, and then locally, who did I talk about? I don't know. Yeah, just I say you, do it, you do it so far in advance. I, 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 I do, so and I kind of, I kind of pump it out. So okay, next uh, week we'll bring a copy of City View and have it here, so you can, you can review. There you go. Okay, I won't quiz you quite as much. No, time, I, okay? I'm, it's terrible. <laughs> it's 7:32. We'll be right back. This.